everyone, it's Elaine, and welcome back to my channel. Today I kind of want to show you some ideas I have for collage and decoupage. Now what I'm going to show you are things that I have done in the past, but I'm also going to show you today some things that I want to do. I have a couple upcoming retreats, and when I go to these, I try to work on things where, like, I can get a project finished. Um, so I like having multiple smaller things to do, whereas, you know, if it's time for lunch or, you know, somebody wants to go out, you know, run to Walmart or wherever, you know, I can stop. It, it's, it's not like an ongoing hard project that there's no stopping point for me. So anyway, this is one of the things that I've done. This is a binder that samples came in and um, I first put down book pages and then I so let me back up I put down book pages so I collaged them on and then I decoupaged napkins on and then when I had gone on a road trip to see my buddy Annette we found this two old books that were like old movie stars and stuff black and white the pages were not glossy, so they were right up my alley. So I fussy cut out some of those pictures, and I applied them on top too. So it kind of breaks up, you know, all the little flowery. So that's the front, and this is the spine. Flip it over here real quick. And this is the back. I think that's old Rhett Butler out of Gone with the Wind. Yeah, one of the books was on um, Clark Gable nothing but Clark Gable. So that's one of the books that I did. And then this is the kind of binder that most of us are really used to. The kind that has this kind of hinge on the side. So as you can see, I pretty much just stayed straight on that kind of binder. But I did pretty much the same thing. When it came to the spine, again, I just didn't do the area that we'll call a hinge. I like this binder because it has this hole in it. I got a little bump there, of course. Um, it's a little pull ring like that, you know, you can set it on the shelf and stick your finger in there and pull it out. So this is the front and that one is the back and then of course the, the spine. So, and I'm showing you those for a reason, so sit tight if you don't mind. And then this is another, um, I think I may have flashed this in a video in the past. This was a butt ugly box that I got at Goodwill. I mean, it was stained up and just nasty, but I saw potential. So again, collaged book pages and then decoupaged napkins on top of it. And in this case, you know you get those little velcro dots and there's the one side that's hard and then there's the side that's fuzzy well that's just what i used as the feet i don't know why i always end up with a lot more fuzzy ones than i do the the velcro -y side so that is that now i want to show you what i want to work on and i'm going to show these to you because i want you to think about things around your house or in your art space that you could make prettier. We'll just leave it at that. 